you guys are absolutely the best okay i just want to say thank you guys so so much listen i took some of you guys's advice on information about being in tucson arizona and i was on the south side of um tucson and then a lot of you said you know go to the north side the northwest side of tucson it's a lot um better especially for doordash um money is to be made here and you guys were not lying <laughs> so i just want to say thank you guys so much for your advice i'm glad that i listened and i reached out to you guys and you guys gave me your honest feedback i absolutely love like the atmosphere in um, northern Tucson, Arizona. People I've met so far have been so nice. I mean, I was at this one restaurant and I had two orders to pick up and my hands were full. You know, I had <laughs> three bags of food basically. Um, and four drinks so my hands were full and one of the customers that was standing in line went ahead and opened up both doors for me because he was like you look like you got your hands full i mean you know and then this other restaurant that um i went to go pick up an order from the lady there was so so nice it looked like one of those um, a small business where she cooks meals and you buy like a whole meal, like meal prep type of business. And it was three large bags full of frozen foods for the customer. But she had their homemade cookies. Oh my goodness, they were phenomenal. And she even offered me a free drink. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I absolutely love it out here. However, I would say the only downfall that I see is um, not too many places to stealth and um, not too many places to overnight park. Um, so <laughs> I did find a Crackle Barrel that hopefully, <laughs> according to iOverlender, allows overnight parking. Um, so tonight, guys, I am going to give it a shot and spend my first night at a Crackle Barrel, and we will see how that goes. I've never done it before, and I tell you, if Crackle Barrel allows me to spend the night in their parking lot, I am definitely going to thank them by getting my butt up, going in their restaurant, ordering me something to eat or some coffee or something as my token of appreciation <laughs> so yeah so i am going to work mainly all day today yes <laughs> so there's definitely some money to be made so i'm kind of just chilling out right now waiting for the dinner rush um i got myself scheduled to work like at 5 30 and I'm going to work until I don't know when. Uh, so um, I got a few hours just to chill out. So I will see y'all tonight at Crackle Barrel, okay? We're going to spend the night at Crackle Barrel for the first time ever. <laughs> All right, guys. I made it to Crackle Barrel. And I called just to make sure that I Overlander was correct. And I'm gonna tell you guys, if you are new or most seasoned van lifers know this, but if you don't know, I'm telling you, I Overlander has been a game changer for my van life journey. I have been able to find so many different spots to camp at. And this was another one that I found on iOverlander. And also, 
I'm going to let you know on another website, another app that you can download on your phone that helps you find BLM land, which is Bureau of Land Management, which is public free land where you can go camp out uh, for free. BLM land usually has no amenities, none whatsoever. No toilet, no water, no trash, no electricity, nothing. So if you do go to BLM land, you have to come prepared to totally live off grid. And the BLM land that I spent the night at last night was actually, um, I found that on Free Roam. Two apps that I believe that I'm gonna say is necessary for van life. I'm telling you, great, great website, great uh, apps. So anyways, I am, and there are other RVs, vans, I mean, gosh, guys, <laughs> there's, there are, look at that. There's other RVs, vans, and all that. Oh, you know, hey, you know, somebody got to look out for us. So I, I'm definitely going to be having some breakfast in the morning just to show my appreciation for allowing me to uh, to park here and rest and feel safe and you know I don't have to worry oh I'm gonna sleep well and I'm telling you the north north Tucson for DoorDash was popping. It was it was like live action. It was busy, busy, busy. I made good money compared to being on the south side. I made really good money today and I'm really happy and I'm really thrilled and I am going to work again all day and I don't know if I'm going to film it <sighs> I don't know I don't know it depends on how I feel in the morning but definitely a nice area where I am at and um yeah so I'll be here for about two more days and after this I'm going to be heading to Phoenix um, I have my, my cousin, my aunt, and well, actually a few of my cousins and my aunt lives in Phoenix, Arizona. So, um, I already reached out to them and I am going to be going to go visit with some family. So that should definitely be exciting. Um, I'm really excited to see them. So, yeah. Other than that, it was a busy night. It was a busy night. And whoever it was, I'm not sure, um, one of the subscribers suggested that if I do go on the north side and do DoorDash, don't take any orders under $7. And girl, you was right, okay? Because I feel like when you're doing DoorDash, they're going to give you some BS orders. And... I don't know. They give you like BS orders. Like they, I got one order that was paying like $2 and something. And they wanted me to go, you know, at least five or six miles. Like, are you kidding me? Decline those. Decline, decline, decline. And I know that if you are a DoorDasher, you have an acceptance rate. And it says that if your acceptance acceptance rate is over 50%, you're considered top priority or high priority dasher and blah, 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 blah. Well, I found that if you decline those crappy orders, then they'll start sending you orders that they think that you would accept. 
So I don't quite pay attention to that acceptance rate because I'm not gonna just take an order to get my acceptance rate up. I'm not doing that, <laughs> okay? And it's just great out here. And the distance to drive from the restaurants to the customer's location is not bad at all. I feel safe out here. I door dashed in the evening and I felt completely safe. Neighborhoods were good, up to my standards. I, it, great advice, you guys are so wonderful. Your advice completely helped me out tremendously. So thank you, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much because that put money in my pocket, okay? <laughs> Definitely, I don't mind working for money. I have no problem, okay? And that really helped out a lot. So, I know when I get to Phoenix, I'm gonna be working there as well. However, I am gonna take maybe two days off or whatever to visit with my family. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I am going to rest up for the evening and i'm gonna catch y'all back in the morning because we are going to go have breakfast at crackle barrel okay and you're gonna come with me okay 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 so i will see you guys in the morning good morning y'all how y'all doing this morning okay so my night at crackle barrel was pretty good i mean no problems and no issues. The only thing that I will say, what is sticking up, is I'm I'm like right here by the highway. <laughs> so you did hear the traffic, you know, but that really didn't bother me. But I did hear the traffic. Um, it didn't wake me up or anything like that. But other than that, I slept great. Slept, slept great. So, I am dressed and ready to go get some breakfast at Crackle Barrel. So, let's do this. Look at that coffee. Breakfast was wonderful. The food was great. <sighs> so now I guess I gotta go get my day started and see what type of work out here is there for me to do today, <laughs> okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna probably sit here and chill out for about an hour before heading to work. So you guys, I thank you for taking some time to watch this video today um, and I hope that I was able to give any new van lifers um, some resources as far as using like iOverlander and free roam to find um, camp spots or places to sleep overnight and just to add as well I Overlander does not only have like camp spots, they also will tell you like places where you can take showers, um, mechanics, and things like that. So, and also dump stations. 
So it's a very good resource. Um, however, not there are some places on there that it will let you know that it's not marked as being verifiable place. Um, but that's up to you to do some investigation on places like that. But other than that, it's still a great resource and it has definitely helped me out tremendously um, on this recent journey. So with that said, guys, like I always say, live your joy, travel safely, and I will see you on the next video. Shalom.